we saw that during motion, your muscles are active and we can record that activity with EMG signals. What's interesting is that we can also apply electrical stimulation to muscle and have them contract. And that stimulation uh, and the effect of the stimulation depends on the, the amplitude and the frequency of the stimulation. So I just want to show you that we can elicit involuntary muscle contractions with uh, external stimulator. I'm here with Julie Muccini, the clinical research manager in the Human Performance Lab. And uh, we're going to apply a, an electrode here to her biceps brachii. Is that okay? Am I doing that correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the stimulator is off and it's at two hertz. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on and you tell me when you can begin to feel the stim. Yeah. Okay, you can feel it, so she could feel it and we're beginning to get a two hertz excitation of her biceps muscle and you can see that two hertz twitching. Is that too much, too little? It's fine. It's fine, okay. so. Now I'm going to increase the frequency of the stimulation. Now we saw in lecture that as you increase frequency, of course, we'll get more frequent twitches, but we'll also begin to see that we get more force at higher frequencies. So I'm moving up in frequency. You can see that her muscles twitching even more. And if I go up, we'll start to get it. Now we're at uh, seven hertz going up to get a fused tetanus. So it's still twitching a little bit. I'm now up at 20 hertz. Okay, Julie, if you bear with me, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And uh, she's just relaxing, just relax your arm. It is relaxed. I'm gonna turn it up. And so now I can move her arm for her. Okay, relax. I'm gonna turn that down. I'll turn it back up a little bit. Great. So that's involuntary contraction with electrical stimulation. So you see the theory we're covering in class really does come true. And we can use electrical stimulation like this to reanimate a limb that might be paralyzed, for example. So if someone has a spinal cord injury and wants to be able to grasp or reach, we can coordinate the contraction of muscles to achieve uh, functional activities. So that's functional electrical stimulation.